in just a few short minutes, I will show you how you can beat some looks that get pretty exotic like this. Today, we're gonna be showing you how to beat Crossman Dollar. All right, so here, we're looking at this Crossman Dollar right here. As you can see, you have the safety coming across onto the um, slot receiver in this bunch that I'm running. You have the right side safety on the outside receiver number 19, and then you have a linebacker coming over and manned up on the tight end okay and then we're gonna the defensive player is probably gonna use this they're gonna just be shooting out here and do whatever they can to kind of disrupt you to get to not have a quick read right so basically the point of this cross man is to take away things coming across the field so a crosser from 11 uh, a drag from 88 the tight end um, and then just, you know, some just, you know, whatever, 19 just manned up. It doesn't really have to be manned up, but, you know, to just take 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 those money routes going across the field. That way, as the user, you could be more responsible for this side of the field. Now, we're going to go over three guiding principles to kind of take away this situation. Now, number one is going to be use your running back. So, yeah, as you can see, that just gets wide open if the user stays over there and tries to take away a corner that gets wide open so we're going to set this up again set that up again say the user's over here say now the user's going to take away the running back well guess what we have we have a situation here where these guys are going to have to come from all the way on the other side of the field to kind of take away uh these routes so we're going to have some more outbreaking routes to the right for a quick little hot read. So I'll keep the running back on that just to just to show you it's going to take away that user. And then boom, you know, you just take take your yardage. I mean, that's a guiding principle of kind of offense in general, right? So you want to just take your yardage. But first thing is use your running back. Second thing is if they start using the running back, well, then um, you know, start working to where they are not usering, right? And you're gonna wanna make reads quickly. So this, the whole point of this defense is to get heat and to not give away sort of like bombs across the field and then you compensate for your user. Um, but as you can see, there are definite kind of disadvantages to this. Another thing you can try to do to kind of beat it deep is to throw in a corner route here. So you can, you can try to throw that, but that's gonna get bagged. Um, but if you have a slinger a quarterback, obviously you could probably free form that. We could try that one more time here. Um, let's set it up one more time, just, just for the, the sake of the vibes. Say the user's taking away the running back. And then we're gonna try to throw that <clears throat> corner route. Yeah, so that man, that man's actually bagging that. So sometimes, sometimes you could throw a quick corner, but essentially the second principle is throw a quick out away from where the, the cross man is coming. So it's either a quick corner, that's kind of a deeper corner. That's not a really good corner for, for this concept, but the concept is throw a, um, you know, an out away from the corner. And you saw it with the tight end. So here, I'll show it one more time. That quick out away from that cross man. Because you don't want to drag into it. Because, yes, you may get it open. But, yes, you also might, you know, end up throwing an interception if you're throwing right into where the cross man's coming. That's kind of the whole point of the cross man. To kind of give you that sort of leverage to the side where you're using away from. And then, obviously, they're going to have to start switching stuff up. So, maybe now they man up Najee with this guy. Maybe they man up this guy. And then they put in... They man up, they man up Pickens, and then they, um, hmm. and then they say that they put him on here, and then they bring this guy down. Nah, that's not gonna work. So say, say that then, then they're just kind of using this right side, and then they're kind of like this cross man is on him. So now that they're gonna use the right side, this is where you want to play with the third concept, which is 
change who you have streaked up. So you, you're just also, you're trying to mess with the user basically at this point. Take away what they can't take away and then hopefully, um, you know, Najee here is going to be blocking and they're going to have a butt. That's, that's, that's a wasted assignment, right? So you just want to always be playing this mind game with these people who are cross manning. You don't want to let them get a read on what you're doing ultimately because that's what's going to, that's what's going to cook you. So corner here is going to get open and you just want to mix up who you're streaking. Um, I had to throw that hot because I obviously got heat. <clears throat> but again, I'll show you one more time. So uh, say they go back again to this original setup like this, but they see that uh, they're going to take this guy and man him up like that. And then they're going to take this guy and man him up like that on the running back. So then they can use it the right side. That's where things can get a little, a little, um, a little rough. But at that point, what do we have? We have a guy coming from the left manned up on the running back. And then we have a guy going up the field. Um, and the user is ideally going to run with this for a second and then they won't be get back and they won't be getting back in time to take away this running back route just like that you know so that's that's ultimately the principle guys it's just switch up who you have streaked who you have making you know pulling the routes deeper because they're gonna have they're gonna have to put deep routes out there they don't want to expose themselves too much don't allow the user to get a sense of what he can take away with uh, the concepts you're putting out there. So just be switching up your concepts, be looking to hit your running back a lot against this cross man, and then be looking to hit routes moving away from the cross man if the user isn't there lurking it, obviously. But I hope today's video helped you out. Let me know in the comments down below some other things that you may be struggling with in Madden 24, and I'll be sure to get, the, get to them as soon as possible. Have a great day.